and welcome back. All right, Martin, now we're going to talk about the next DVD, which is Solid Contact, Ground Rules, basically. Well, yes, Ground Rules, absolutely. The, the, look, there's only two clubs in golf that you shouldn't hit the ground with. One would be the putter. Hopefully you're not taking divots with your putter. And the other would be the driver. Every other club in the back, the ball is sitting on the ground. And unless, of course, it's an iron at a bar three or a three wood off a tee. But when it's sitting on the ground, you've got to hit the ground. And, and as, as someone who came from the European tour to teaching, uh, I thought the ball fly, you know, hitting a draw or a fade was the most important thing to get people to do. Um, as I taught more, shall we say, normal people, okay. um, I found that hitting solid, you know, making good sort of ball and ground contact was by far more important than the direction. So solid is more important than the direction. Uh, and I think you've got some questions to that end, don't you? Absolutely. Again, thank you for bringing those questions to our attention. We're going to group them together because okay. they're very consistent. Okay. So number one, we're going to talk about having you shine a light on hitting down on the ball, not up. Okay. Right, well, Michelle. yeah, definitely we want to be hitting down on the ball slightly. Now, to help me in this segment, I'm bringing in my trusty right-hand man, Steve Ladinsky. He's been with me uh, nearly nine years now, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. And every day has been a pleasure, hasn't it? Every day is, is interesting. Every yeah, day has been a good. pleasure. Look, Steve, Steve teaches with me, teaches for me, and he's turned into an awfully good player, I have to say, um, and, 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 and a wonderful teacher. But we teach a lot of... Um, what would we say, 15 handicappers, 20 handicappers, 25 handicappers? Yes. People who struggle, and, and I think you would agree that finding the ball turf contact is not so easy, is it? It's not, and it's a, it's a common thing that we see with these types of uh, players, with these types of handicaps, you know, hitting a solid. Well, let me see you hit one. You're young, you're strong. We'll, um, we'll keep with the face on camera, please, Mr. Director. All right. Uh, Steve hits it miles. I think he could run through brick walls as a hobby, he's so strong, but one of the things, now that's a great sound there, you'd probably pick that up, and, and you know, years ago I would go to tournaments and you could tell where the best players were, because you would hear the ball go, and it went BAM, mm -hmm. when they hit it, and I wonder, what was that? Well, what it is, what we heard there, was a ball hit very much in the middle of the club, uh, at high speed, I mean, you've got high speed there, because you're still a young one, uh, but hit right in the middle and he hit the ball and the ground about the same time and the divot would show up after the ball. Now what I want Steve to do and the reason I wanted to come in here was so that I could move him around. Uh, take your setup for me. Okay. So I, I, I would say that, and I say this in the DVDs, probably the difference between a really good ball striker and a very poor ball striker is about two inches. It's not as much as people think, it's about two inches. You know. How, you know, how much better is Adam Scott contact than, 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 than Mr. 20 Handicapper? It's about two inches with the contact. And those two inches are probably the inch before the ball to the inch after the ball. Those two inches. Now, what good players do, what good hitters do, good strike, they pinch the inch. Now, the inch I'm talking about is the inch just past the ball. You want to hit the ball and the ground at the same time and then pinch the ground there. Now, to that end, a lot of people have this misguided thought that setup and impact should be the same. That's not at all true, is it? No, and that's not what we teach either. No, it is not what we <laughs> teach either. It's not what you'll get if you win the game. So, Steve, I want you to set up at address, and what I'd like you to do is show the viewers the setup between different between setup and impact. Show me impact. So, this is my setup here. I feel would be my impact. Okay, stay there, stay there, stay there. Now let's talk about some differences. The hands are certainly more ahead of the ball than they were at the address position. The hips have unwound. The weight has shifted to the left foot. The hips have unwound and they are pointing off to the left. The right shoulder is certainly lower than it was at address. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm very hopeful that, that some of you who are watching this are going to buy this four DVD set. It is my life's work. But even if you don't, my love for golf is such that, you know what, please, please understand this. Steve, again, if you would, show them set up and then show them impact. Set up and impact. Again, set up and impact. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Let me again make those points. I'm going to come around this side. And you can see that for Steve, his, his hands, or his lead hand, his left hand, would be over his front foot. The shaft would actually be pointing at 
just about his left hip. There are actually six P's in this solid contact piece, uh, and this would be one of them, that you're pointing the club to the left hip. The right shoulder is a bit lower than it was at address. The right arm is a bit softer, and by golly, those hips better be rotated. Now, sometimes as a drill, and I'm just going to walk around here, again, keeping your face on. Sometimes what I'll have people do, and I want you to do this one for me, Stephen. I want you to take your setup. I want you to go to what would be impacts, and then keeping those impact alignments, I want you to just hit the ball, just take a short backswing and hit the ball. Absolutely stupid. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Absolutely right. So the shaft and the left arm are all in a line there just after impact. That would be a great way to do it. Let's see you do that again. You could even do that with just a short back trick. This is the pinch the inch that's so important to good ball striking. To pinch the inch. Just a short back swing and so stay there, stay there, stay there. Folks, if you're watching this at home, making yourself go through the ball that way would be great. Uh, Steve, show us what most people do. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> the wretched, the wing. Show I, us what uh, most people do without hitting the ball, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most people are that way after impact. They probably haven't even turned this. That's exactly right. Now, my friend here is a bit of a ham, just in case you haven't realized. <laughs> he hams it up, but you know what? It's not that much though. No, it's not that far off, is it? It really isn't. When we look at it, it really isn't, is it? Do it again. Do it again. And people are pulling the hands yep. into the body. The weight staying back, the hips are square. And that is the recipe for golfing on happiness and despair. Now, here's the drill. I'm going to give you one drill and then I'm going to dismiss you because you've got jobs to do for me. Yes. But here's a great, great, great drill. Put your club on the front side of that golf ball. I want you to do this one, whether you buy this program or not, I want you to do this drill. Take your trail hand off the club. Now I want you to just swing your forward hand, your lead hand, mm -hmm. about here. Yep. Now, uh, we haven't rehearsed any of this, I promise you, we haven't rehearsed any of this. That Does that feel like a long, big, huge stretch with your left arm? Not really. Well, yeah, I mean, it definitely not, obviously not shorting, but yes, it does feel a little bit long, but yet I'm not necessarily reaching dramatically. You're not reaching yet. Now here's how, you might need a helper to do this, Bill. So let's just go back again, mm -hmm. put the club by the ball, take the lead arm and just bring it down over, just the lead arm. He shouldn't feel all that much of a stretch, but the way you need, the reason you need a helper is, I'm now going to hold Steve's head and say, right, now put your right hand on the club in its proper position. Now it feels like it's right. Right, yes, it? absolutely. So I call that drill, go and get it. Mm -hmm. Just go and get it. Mm -hmm. um, so do that as a drill for me, please, Stephen. Now without moving the head, this is critical, go and get it. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, soak that up. Got it? Yes. Sometimes holding it for a few seconds. Now put that into a golf swing and do it properly, otherwise you won't get paid on okay. Friday. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Yeah, that was a great sound off the club. I mean, Stephen is a strong young man with great structure, flexible, and he works hard at it. But for sure, the, the, you know, the, the, the better the player, the better they actually look after impact. Don't you agree? We saw that from Stenson winning just recently in the British oh, Open. Oh, absolutely, the Open Championship. I mean, God, I mean, there's a man who looks yes. rock solid there. So I, I think as you're going through, just do this as an exercise for me, Stephen. Just mm -hmm. rest the club against your leg. Uh, this, they're talking of Stenson, you just remind me of Stenson. Mm -hmm. Just take your lead hand, your glove hand, and push down as if you're pushing something into a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Take your, your trail hand and push down on that. So you're pushing, you're pushing your elbows together. And I'm going to, re now just push down on me, push hard. I'm resisting, mm -hmm. you're pushing hard. Yep. Do it again. Really pushing down as if you're pushing a ball into a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. And just make some short swings, pushing, pushing, pushing. Doesn't have to go back far. Mm -hmm. Pushing, pushing, pushing. You're pushing the hands mm -hmm. away from the turning chest. Pushing the hands away from the turning chest. That that will make a giant leap in your ability to pinch the inch after the ball. So I want you to hit one more shot, Steve, and then I'm going to um, 
I know Deb's got some more questions for me, but what I want you to do is just take sort of a little three quarters and just set up to the ball. Okay. Me. And I just want you to go what I call L3. Okay. Uh, this is a drill I have everybody do. The L being the point in the swing where the lead arm gets parallel to the ground. And, and it's as if there's a letter L there. You might, you can configure that letter L, can't you? Mm -hmm. I want you to go L, and then I want you to swing the club through to what would be three o'clock on a clock face. Okay. We've got six o'clock, mm -hmm. we've got five o'clock, we've got four o'clock. This would be about three o'clock. Gotcha. L3. Mm -hmm. So you go lead arm parallel, shaft parallel. Gotcha. Lead arm parallel, shaft parallel. So make one practice swing. Okay. Always looking to pinch the inch in the right place. L3. That would be terrific. You can see that the hips get involved in that, certainly. And just hit me some shots that way. Sure. Uh, motor skills very definitely best learned from small to big, from slow to quick. L3. Good. I hope you could hear that. I'm sure you could. That was really, really solid. It appears I may have to pay you on Friday after all. I think so. I think you've earned your wages, Stephen. Thank you very much. I love your work. It's my pleasure. Um, so, Deb, that's, that's a little bit of the ground rules. I know we've got some more questions, but Stephen demonstrated that absolutely beautifully. been teaching a long time 38 years as a matter of fact and during that 38 years initially I thought the most important thing in golf was to be able to hit the ball straight I have changed my mind much more important it is to hit the ball solid now solid in this case would mean in the middle of the face and hitting the ball at the ground at the same time it's no good hitting the ground back here and it's no good going sort of halfway up the ball so I've got six points to help you strike the ball better off the ground. We're going to talk about the pivot, the pinch, the path, and then we're going to talk about the point, the plug, and the pace of your golf swing. Followed by that, I'm going to have 10 of my very best drills to help you hit it more solid. So let's get cracking, and let's see if I can help you, Revolution golfers, to hit the ball a lot more solid as we go through this program. In three very different directions, but they were hit with the same swing. And that's why that one went to the target. That's as good a drill as I've got to stop the shank. Sit, be a good girl. Okay, got it. So, so here we are, here's the deal. Build a better golf game is based on my 38 years of teaching experience with over 100,000 students from beginners to tour professionals. These four DVDs will show you how to gain up to 30 yards off the tee with just three simple setup changes. Make super solid contact with every club in the bag. Doesn't that sound yummy? Get the shot shape you want for power and accuracy. Yes, you do want that, don't you? and how to get up and down from pretty much anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Listen, I 100% guarantee your game is going to improve by putting into practice what I teach in the Build a Better Golf Game training. You have an entire year, 365 days, to watch over four hours of teaching distance, solid contact, the short game, simple fixes to nagging faults, and 30 simple yet powerful drills. If you feel my training isn't worth every penny, you'll get all your investment back, no questions asked. To get a copy of Build a Better Game, go to buildabettergolfgame.com slash live. I'm Martin Hall. I love golf. I love helping people. Please take a look.